Um, the first card I have out for you is the Empress. And now this is a really positive card that indicates a lot of expansion, a lot of opportunities that are made available to you. Um, I see this energy about rising above because she's kind of uh, elevated. It, it's like either some of you are getting like a, a pay increase, a promotion, or given a title, okay? So an elevation in your status, an elevation in your financial standing, an elevation in terms of your relationship as well, taking the relationship to the next level. So either way, there is a major, major rise and an elevation in where you are right now. And I pulled out three cards each to clarify each of the five cards uh, above. And what I see is um, in a situation where somebody has been a little bit sneaky, a little bit um, either pes pesky is what I'm seeing. They might not act ab above board. They might not have been forthright, truthful, or even delicate and tactful with their communication. It's almost like they're trying to get a rise out of you. Um, I feel like there's somebody that you haven't spoken to for a long time because every single time you communicate with them, there has been conflict. And I feel like they have been very evasive. They have been very indirect and it aggravates you when you're asking somebody, um, you know, a straightforward question and they can't even give you a straightforward answer. And so I feel like you might have, you know, left this person behind. You might have, you know, try to move on with your life. You might have uh, risen above it. And I feel like you're taking the moral high road when you're dealing with this person. And so emotionally, um, I see some of you kind of thinking to yourself, you know, um, I'm, I'm checking myself out of this. Um, if they choose to come back and communicate with me in an adult way, that's on them. But in the meantime, I'm not going to sit here and wonder about it. So I feel like you're dealing with someone like that. For some of you, it could be like a mother, like a, an, a mother-in-law, a mother, a parent, somebody that behave, that, that is, um, that you look up to and you admire and, you know, they're an adult, but for whatever reason, they don't behave adult-like. And so I feel like there might've been a lot of conflict in the past. And I feel like this person made you very defensive and they kind of chip away at your self-esteem. For others of you, I feel like this could have been like a partner, somebody that you were engaged to, might have gotten um, married to and then divorced. Um, and so I feel like they're already in the past because of these patterns of behavior where they really chipped away at your self-esteem. They made you defensive, but this is the week where you start to own up to your power and your strength. And you realize as well that, oh my gosh, this whole time I thought it was me, but it's not me. It's the problem lies with them. And so you're coming to that realization. And so emotionally, I see many of you are checking out of this contentious relationship with this person. Next up, I have here the Queen of Swords. This is an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And Aquarius energy comes out very strongly with this person. What I feel is this could be like a, it's a very neutral energy. There's a lot of caring and a lot of love, okay? But I don't see it being like a romantic um, type of a situation. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, once again, comes out very strongly. Uh, there are some major change of turn of events for the better happening in this person's life. And they're communicating with you and they want to share with you. There is also um, this energy of let's meet up, let's get together. So I see like some of you, uh, things coming full circle. This person as well is very inspiring to be around. They give a lot of good counsel, a lot of good advice, a lot of just... Um, you know, positive affirmation. There's a lot of positive things happening around them. And you're very, very happy for them. So I don't see envy or jealousy. I see you being very elated, very, very happy for them. They're coming to you with an idea. And I feel like this is about, you know, big the big picture ideas. Um, I see healing. I see spiritual development. I also feel like buying property, getting a job, moving, relocating. So there are some big things happening in this person's life. And I feel like they're possibly reaching out to share this with you, to seek advice, or they're coming to you to get you on board, okay? Get your support, get your blessings. 
And so I see this as somebody who really cares about your opinion. They're, you're really happy for them either way, but I feel like they care about your opinion. So you're one of the first few people that they're sharing this major idea with. Uh, we have them linked up here with the star, the high priestess, and the wheel of fortune. So it's a major, major, major turn of events happening in their lives, and they're they're sharing it with you. Um, I feel like there might have been some type of distance between you and them, either emotional or physical distance. Like you might be far away from each other. The opportunities for you to get together might not have been plentiful, but this is the week where that's going to be made possible, so reach out. Uh, the next person, and I have here the king... And the Queen of Swords. Next up, we have the King of Swords. And um, it's linked up here with the Moon, the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. So this is kind of like your spiritual advice, okay? What I feel happening is, um, for some of you, you might be romantically involved with this person. But either way, your spiritual advice is coming in as this is a week for you to let other people speak and see what you're learning and picking up from them intuitively. It's, it's more like, it's not so much about what's being said, but what's not being said. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody who might be a little bit evasive or sneaky and the communication has never been straightforward. And so it's important for you to kind of sit back. Okay. He's got his sword on the ground. Okay. Kind of like firmly planted on the ground. So it's sort of like you're not really talking, you're not communicating, you're just listening, you're just absorbing the information, you're just trying to figure out what the other people are saying to you, what their in intentions are, what their motives are. If you're dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, whatever confusion has been coming into the picture is starting to clear up. Whatever hesitation... Uh, whatever, um, I, I feel like it's a partner, it's a romantic partner, because we have the moon here, which indicates a very strong soulful connection that you have with this person. Um, I see some of you revisiting some things. So whatever discussion that was hard to bring up or that was hard to reach a consensus or an agreement upon in the past, these conversations are being brought up again so that the two of you can see things from each other's perspective and that's why it's really important not to talk but to really listen and whatever lack of clarity you know lack of uh, truthfulness lack of full disclosure lack of um, full understanding whatever it was I feel like some of you are at a point where you're letting your ego aside and to really absorb and understand and uh, what the other person is telling you okay so I get a very strong Piscean energy and uh, the way that Pisces people interact is um, they can be a little bit like wavy when they communicate and what that means is they can, you know, not so much distort the truth, but then they have a really roundabout way of talking about what they want. They might not go out and tell you, hey, let's try this new Italian restaurant. I really love Italian food. Like they're, the way that they communicate is very weird. It's very indirect. So they might say like, hey, what are you doing Saturday? And you're like, I'm free. Why? And then they're like, um, well, I want to check out this place, this new Italian restaurant. And they leave it at that. And so they expect you to, to you know, follow up and, and then feed into the rest of the conversation. Whereas with you guys, the way you communicate is very direct, you know. Hey, if you're free this Saturday, let's go check out this Italian restaurant. So I feel like the, the communication style um, doesn't, it's not really matching up. And if there has been communication issues between you and another person, you're a lot more receptive and you're a lot more like letting them take the lead, letting them follow up so that you can understand where they're coming from, which is great. So I see cl clarity and the clearing up in communication issues. Uh, the next card that I have for you here is the Ten of Coins. This is a family card. This is like stability, building up wealth, leaving a legacy for your children, taking the relationship to the next level as well, and meeting somebody that I feel um, 
that um, that checks off all the checklists, you know, that um, have like longevity associated with them, wanting to build a relationship, wanting to build a future with another person. What I'm seeing here, we have the Ace of Coins, and this is basically, um, it's work related. And I feel like for many of you, you're at a point where, you know, financially you're on your A game. You're thinking about having children. You're thinking about, you know, getting married. And so the foundation is very, very solid for many of you. You might even have a house that's already paid off. And you're thinking as well about refinancing or renting it out so that you can have, you know, um, residual income. Some of you are thinking about selling a property as well. I see some, some fixing up that needs to happen with the structural integrity of the house. So the house might need some work, uh, might need some repairs, might need some appraisal. So I see people with like, you know, rulers and yardsticks and going around measuring things. So you might have, um, you might be doing some remodeling. You might be doing some uh, fixing up of your property. You might even have people appraising. You might even have tenants coming by to look at your property. So I see a lot of footsteps and people coming in and out of your house. I'm also seeing as well, some of you are appraising to see how much you're getting out of it so that you can relocate. And then I'm seeing some of you are a little bit discontented with where you're living because I feel like it's too crowded, too congested, and you're looking to relocate to a calmer environment or you're looking to relocate to an area, um, you know, like even um, upgrading, getting a bigger house or some of you downgrading, getting a smaller house because the kids are no longer in the picture. Um, either way, there is huge financial windfall that comes in as a result of property. Okay, so I feel like some of you are in a place, in a house that has really, really high property value. And if you were to sell it, if you finish payments on it, and you, if you were to sell it, you're going to be walking away with a huge lump of cash. Um, the last card that I have here is the Queen of Coins. This is an Earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And um, the advice associated with this card here is the need for you to release something. The need for you to release something is the message that I'm getting. I feel like it's not so much financial in nature. I'm seeing some of you were given something. And I feel like it served its purpose in your life at the time that you were given that 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 project, that job, that person, that item. And I feel like because it was, you know, given to you, you have very strong sentimental values associated with it. And you refuse to let it go. And you're hanging on to it. And now it's becoming a liability. So they're really telling you it came in at a time that you needed it. Spiritually, it came in at a time it was if it was given by another person, they felt like you needed it. But they gave it to you so that you can do with it as you please. They didn't give it to you with the intention that you must do with it as I want you to do with it. So there's no strings attached when it comes to this offer, this gift, okay? There was no strings attached. You do with it as you please. But I feel like you love the connection and so you hang on to it. And it's time to kind of release it and let it go. I feel some of you were given like a car, for example. And, um, you know, somebody gave you the car. They might have passed away. They might no longer be in the picture for whatever reason. It could be an ex. And you value the relationship. So you hold on to the car. You spend a lot of money fixing up the car every time it, it breaks down. And it's becoming, it's getting to the point where it's a big uh, financial drain and is a huge liability for you. So it's time to kind of relinquish and let it go. Okay, so that's an example. And uh, I feel like this is a message about letting go. It's a message about don't hang on to things that are liabilities in your life. Don't hang on to things that weigh you down and don't hang on to things that are a major financial drain for us. For a lot of the signs, one of the big things that we start to, it's like a major sign that something is not good for us is when it is a major financial drain. 
Okay, um, for whatever reason, spiritually, when you and that person or that item or that situation get together, it becomes a huge liability. That's one of the universe's way of telling you it's not meant for you. So try to let it go. Um, I feel as well there might be legal issues between you and another person over child care, child support. Um, there is some sense of like trying to make the situation fair, trying to recalibrate so that both sides get what they deserve or get what they want. Um, I feel like there is going to be a compromise coming into the picture as a result of that, okay? So Aries, I hope the situation, um, everything here resonates with you. Um, it's going to be a good week nonetheless. There's a lot of, you know, endings of uh, confusion coming in through, I feel like for all the signs.